Hello everybody, my name is uh, Kees Snook. I'm a full professor at the University of Amsterdam where I'm heading uh, the Video and Image Science Lab. And my talk at this event will be about uh, computer vision transformers. And the starting point of my, my talk is that vision has evolved over hundreds of millions of years. And in light of this development, the conception of language is a pretty recent innovation. And what sort of puzzles me is that transformer model that was originally designed for language processing is now also the go-to solution for many computer vision problems. Basically using scale to compensate for the lack of any inductive bias. So what I'm going to talk about is how can we sort of like bring back some inductive biases that are known to be effective for vision, how to bring those back in transformers and what, what is the effect uh, on computer vision applications like object detection, object segmentation and uh, spatial temporal action uh, localization. I think vision is our most important sense. More than 50% of our brain capacity is spent on seeing. It has intrigued me from the start. How can you let the machine learn to understand what it sees? And what is so amazing of the past decade is that we have so much and stellar progress thanks to the deep learning revolution and constant innovations in architectures and networks and, and algorithms that things that we could only dream of when I started as a PhD student, for example, are now available in your smartphone. Progress has really been tremendous and I think the, the best is still yet to come. One, one topic that is really important and that has been ignored by many in computer vision is this notion of trustworthiness. So how can we assure that the algorithm is doing what it's supposed to do and how can we assure that from the start by incorporating it into the design of the algorithm. And this is sort of like something that we as a field have to embrace because because we made so much progress, we are now being applied in society. So we should also take the consequence of that success and make our algorithms and learning procedures better.